Uh, Telltale's Batman Season 2, Episode 2, Part 2. Let's do it. Bruce! Are you alright? I'm fine, Alfred. I was keeping an eye on you over the security feed. Well, breaking into my own company was... unexpected. <laughs> my heart stopped when I saw that mad woman coming at Tiffany. I was certain she was going to kill her. That young woman is smarter than both of us, Bruce. It's only a matter of time before she puts the rest of the pieces together. I heard you reveal that Lucius worked with Batman. But will that satisfy her? You know what she's like? She won't stop digging until she gets to the truth. Maybe we should just... tell her. I've always regretted not being more honest with you about your father's life. You're right. I'll be as honest with Tiffany as I can. Very good. Uh, with regards to tonight's other catastrophes, your night watchman got a nasty lump on the head, but don't worry. He'll be fine. I've already arranged for him to get a generous payout and an oh. extended vacation. And replace tonight's offending security camera feed with dummy footage. I yeah, thank you. As for Regina, I'm afraid your fashion consultant's cover story is going to cause more problems. Your encounter there was too bizarre to be ignored. After what went on, it'll be a challenge to smooth things over with her. It's all coming so fast. One thing after another. You need to take it easy, Al. Get some rest. It's only a momentary bit of exhaustion. I'm sure it will pass. Bruce. I know we agreed there was no better way to get to Bane. And believe me, I want to see these monsters pay for what they've done. But this whole masquerade with John and Harley, well, frankly, it's exhausting. Oh. Well, be careful and good luck. They're both there. This it's not gonna be good. How long does this usually take? It takes as long as it takes. You hmm. don't just call him like a dog. There's a million more efficient ways of contacting him, but you do it like this. Symbols are important. Just like principles. This is a waste of my time. You two are acting almost friendly. It's a strange sight. Batman. About time. Gordon, you're dismissed. This is still my goddamn station house. He's forgetting I'm the one who can make or break his career right now. You only remind me every other minute. Clearly, I need a better method of getting the message across. You're both behaving like children. Watch your tone, Batman. Well, what? You'll put him on timeout? <laughs> I've been lenient with you so far, but don't push me. She's got some kind of leverage on you, doesn't she? If she's jammed you up somehow, just say the word. I'll appeal to the mayor, the governor, whatever it takes to get her off your back. I'll do whatever I can to help you. She knows who I am, Jim. Oh, yeah? Well, so do I. You're Batman. That's all you ever have to be. That's all Gotham needs you to be. And you, if you're threatening to take that away, you should be ashamed of yourself. I don't want to hear it. Just supposed to come to Gotham, put the chains on Riddler and his gang, and get the hell out. I'm just saying the city gets under your skin. Fast. Know what I mean? Best laid plans and all that. Even so, it's good that you and your people are here. Thanks. 
But I guess you locals see it differently. Agent of Esther. She fought to get on this assignment, you know. Wanted to see her old neighborhood. Wanted to see you. Her hometown hero. She wanted to impress you. She admires what you do for the people of this city. Your respect is important to her. She certainly succeeded on that front. She's one of my best. Still, when I compress you, it's the same thing that made her move too fast on Riddler. Now there's a lesson learned. My lab techs were able to replicate a dose of the venom serum from the vial Bane left behind at the police arsenal. But with a twist, it's actually a counter-agent. Uh -oh. After a brief rush, it'll flush the venom from his system, leaving him weak and exhausted. Could be useful. So, Wayne Enterprises. Heard you made some new friends. Uh-oh. You're having me followed. Thanks to you, these very bad people have an EMP and a key that'll open every lock I would want to keep bolted shut. They're clearly planning something. Mistakes are too high to leave anything to chance. You know, I actually considered asking you to infiltrate Riddler's gang. Before everything blew up, I knew I could count on you to get me close to them. Close to Bane. You're good at this. Seems well, like you've already won job. Harley Quinn's trust. What you saw was just a test. An operation like theirs requires someone with your resources. As long as you don't blow it, they're gonna want to keep Bruce Wayne around until they take him for all they can. Get them away from their base of operations. Somewhere, they'll be exposed. When they're all together, out in the open, contact me. I'll be standing by, ready to ambush. We'll take them down when they're at their most vulnerable. Sound good? They'll never know what hit them. If we do this, I want to guarantee that no one gets killed. No one dies. No one has to join murder gangs run by maniacs either. Look, I know your code against killing, but I won't risk my agent's safety for a band of sociopaths. Batman, if it gets bad for you, just remember, we're out here. When you're in deep like this, you need friends. Let's say everything goes pear-shaped, and you get stuck in there longer than you'd like. Then what's right, what's wrong, it all gets blurry. And guess what? That's okay. Because you're going to have to do some blurry things that you are not proud of before this is done. You hear me? That's just how these kinds of operations go down. Whatever I have to do to put these scum away, I'm sure I'll get over it. That's the spirit. I'm in. Just huh. don't stay embedded any longer than necessary. I'll be in and out, Alfred. Just long enough to figure out their plans. Good luck, Bruce. Stay safe. What am I aware? <laughs> All right. Here we go. now welcome to our little hideaway and home away from home the end of the line we're happy to have you oh my you hang up me you said you'd kill him after you got what you needed so what ain't a girl allowed to change your mind could someone get me out of these handcuffs please <laughs> tell me why I shouldn't kill you <laughs> 
What I have is influence, and that is worth a lot. <laughs> Spoken like a man who has never had to do hard work. <laughs> who the hell wants to do hard work? I bring us back the transport and the arms we require. You, you bring back a worthless aristocrat. We don't need his money. We have what we need to finish this, thanks to me. He ain't worthless, you overgrown bicep. He already got us an EMP device and the failing ski. I'll betcha I can find a use for him. I do not care how much these two swoon over you, Wayne. We don't want you here, and we don't need you here. Something about this. Well, unhandcuff me. <laughs> it's freeze. Freeze is coming. Oh, what have do you have done? freeze? You need to uncuff me. Don't screw this up. You fool! I can turn it off. Make it stop, or I will seal you both in ice. How do I? I swear. If you don't get that electricity back on immediately, oh, I'll nice. send you to a frozen hell. There we go. Great, okay. Like that. Hey, it worked. We know that it works. I must check on Nora. See how she is. You may have impressed these two, but I haven't made up my mind about crushing your skull. Fair enough. Everyone back to work. There's still a lot to get done. Who put you in charge? Somebody has to give the orders. That was a nice job before. Come on up to my office. Listen, Bruce. I just want to clear the air a little. Uh. You distanced yourself from us, back at your office. I don't blame you, after all the trouble I caused. You probably noticed I like to stir things up. It's a bad habit. Well, it's made me more enemies than friends. I want to say I'm sorry for messing with your people. Your employees. I know they probably mean a lot to you. Thank you, Marla. Your apology means a lot. Really? You probably think I'm a terrible person, but I want you to understand. You've seen these animals I work with. In my business, you let your guard down for a second, you get torn to shreds. I can only imagine. If I'm always pushing buttons, it's to keep people off balance, you know? Keep them guessing my next move. Keep the real me hidden. I hope you ain't gonna judge me for it. To be honest, I've been at it so long, I don't even notice I'm doing it. We all wear masks, Harley. You don't have to be a criminal for that. Even you? You ain't like these others. Bane's a powder keg. Freeze. <laughs> well, you saw Freeze. John's sweet. And believe me, he's got heaps of potential. But he's still a growing boy. You, though? You got your head screwed on right. You're reasonable. I can work with reasonable. We're pulling a job tonight. I want you to be a part of it. You already showed you know how to use that EMP better than any of these other clowns. I'm in. Just tell me what to do. That's what I wanted to hear. All will be revealed eventually. 
using that EMP, though, that's gonna make tonight's job a whole lot less messy. And that no-neck asshat Bane, he loves making a mess. <laughs> People getting killed just makes his day. If you're gonna come with, you gotta convince the others. Convince them? It's a real pain in the ass sometimes, but you need a majority opinion for anything big. And bringing you along, well, you got some persuading to do. Let me know how I can help. I get the feeling Bane doesn't like me very much. That knucklehead respects strength and loyalty. Show me got those, and he'll come around. He's a man's man. I don't got much time for all that burly machismo, but sit him down for a beer or something. He'll hear what you gotta say. He may kill you when you're done, but at least he'll listen. Okay. So what's the deal with Freeze? He's... unique. You mean why he's blue and wrapped up in machinery? Accident in the lab. Here's the thing about Freeze. Only thing he gives two hoots about is his wife. He gave up everything to try and save her when she got sick. And I mean everything. Job, health, soul, the whole shebang. She's dead. Frozen stiff. Keeps her on ice in the next room while he searches for a cure. Ain't that just kooky? I mean, it explains why he flipped when the EMP went off. But seriously, who does that? I doubt his wife would approve if she realized what he's become. She'd probably never want to wake up, exactly. So he'd be better off not getting what he wants. You can say that again, but he might not want to hear it. Talking about his wife is the only way to get Freeze to pay attention to you. But watch yourself. His attention ain't always a good thing. Okay. I wonder how I'm going to convince others. Spirit of unity? Not really what I'm sensing from this group. about your wife and I hear me out I might be able to help what do you mean you'll answer me if you're smart and understand the concept of self-preservation what you're doing well that kind of love is rare my wife followed your goings on in the society Collins way you are more familiar with lust than love. That's how I know how precious that kind of love is. What if you get caught? Sent to prison? What happens to your wife then? What do you propose? I own technology companies, Victor. Big ones. You could house and protect her. Continue your research to cure her. Why? Why would you do this? Oh, I'm not doing it for nothing. I expect a full return on my investment. <laughs> Practical. I respect that. I'll talk to Bane. Make sure he thinks you're on the level. You have my word. I may have misjudged you. Any tips on handling Bane? I don't know. 
Go talk to him. That may be uh, one of the last things I ever do. to get another chance to speak with you. Thirsty work. My throat is dry. Fetch, Wayne. Uh. <laughs> what the hell do you want? Bane doesn't want us talking to him. Get out of here. So where am I supposed to... Buddy, it's always so good to see you. Like, so good. Always good to see you, John. I've been wanting to say, Bruce, thanks for helping me out before, and your office, and making me look good. I actually thought you'd be mad about what happened before Wayne Enterprises. You know, Harley really seemed to be... Not at all. Harley and I talked and talked about how lame you are. <laughs> thanks. It was by far the longest we've ever talked without her losing interest. It was great! I should have known right when we pinky sweared that everything would work out great. Harley wants me to try to get in good with Bane and Freeze. I think you're well on your way to doing just that. And I've been doing, you know, what I can to uh, help, too. You didn't catch it? It <laughs> looked like Bane might kill you. I set off that EMP, you know, as a distraction. Thought it might give you a chance to show off your technical skills in front of Freeze. Well, then I owe you my life, John. It's what pals do. I know you do the same for me. And wouldn't you know it, you nailed it. You already know I like you. Bruce, you better get cracking on getting those other guys to like you, too. Because I don't want to have to watch what happens if they don't. Oh. Prisca. Now, Bane loves that beer. I bought some for when I need to talk to him. He's scarier than anybody in Arkham. Okay, see you, John. I'm gonna try not to get my neck snapped by Bane. Thought you looked thirsty. Please, come. 
Oh. Riddler, he bombed your building and killed your friend. Someone did that to me. I'd bomb their building, kill their friend. As Riddler's friend, I have to know, are you here for payback? Did you come for revenge? Answer me, or I will break you in half. Riddler is dead. Any revenge I want, I already got. He did not deserve such an end. But you have a point. In this line of work, one cannot be too careful. Trust has been the hardest thing to find, especially after Riddler's death. Yes, men you can trust. So hard to find. He was with my crew at the police arsenal. Nate! The prisoner he was supposed to be guarding got away. Oh. And yet he doesn't have a scratch on him. This is crazy! I suspect we have a traitor among us. One begins to smell a rat after Riddler's murder and that prisoner getting away. Loyalty is all that we have. But there can be no trust unless I can believe that you are who you say you are and that you are really willing to do all that you claim. <laughs> Only one of you walks out of here. You know me. The sooner one of you picks up that pipe and bashes the other's head, the sooner we get this over. Fine. Prove it! <laughs> Sorry about this. Uh. Very good, Wayne. Very good. Maybe you do have what it takes to join our pack. The package is moving. What's going on? The job we've been getting ready for. It's happening. Good. I'm ready. Not so fast, the money bags. You're oh. not in the pact. Not yet. Not till everyone votes. What do you oh. say, boys? Bruce Wayne. He in or out? The aristocrat is not afraid to dirty his hands. I say we add him to the pact. In. There may be more to Wayne than first appeared. He can be trusted. In. Bruce is strong and smart. Handsome. Like, super handsome. It's nuts, you guys. And... What? Where was I going with this? Right, right. I vote in. Well, aren't you, Mr. Popular? We got a majority, folks. Bruce is in. You've earned a ticket to ride, pal. Make sure that EMP shielding is on those APCs. I don't need any surprises. Time to get that package. Remember, when we work together, no one can stop us. When we work together, the world yeah. can be ours! If I wasn't here, that was bad. Let's go. Could stop it. <laughs> Somebody grab that thing, it's important. Go hit him with the hind. Feels kind of weird. Like usually, I'm, like you try to stop stuff like this. <laughs> so I'm doing stuff like this. What the package is for. Wayne, we are close. Make your device ready. We'll do. 
EMP primed and ready to go. Harley. Yeah, what? We have almost reached the target vehicle. Uh -huh. What? No. You no. are providing our escape. Yeah, Waller. On the move with targets. Yeah. Track no. this signal. No. Get your people here. Now. We've got your signal locked. Cavalry is on the way. Oh. Now we do this. Wait, what in the... I gotta say, Bruce, now that we're actually here and it's really happening, I'm feeling some butterflies in my stomach. We have an obstruction ahead, both lanes. Armored vehicles. Service weapons at the ready. Do not engage. Now, Vane! Do it! What the hell is going on? HQ, do you copy? My gun, it's fried. All comms are down. Move! Carry the torch, Mr. Suit. Stay sharp. Secure the vehicle. time for this. We're not done here, Wayne. I will not turn my back on you. I'll leave this clean up to you, but hurry. Men, seize the cargo. Get out of here! Now! 
fine. Forget you. You have gotta be... I wonder if she got arrested. You did well tonight, Wayne. Better than that yammering harpy. How could we leave her? We need to get Harley. Now! Impossible. She's dead. Or in jail. So we break her out! And if she's dead... You better hope she's not! We... we have to help her. She'll be expecting us. She needs us. We'll get her back, John. I promise. Great! Let's go! We have to... now! Right now! We don't have time to waste on her! But... But... That's enough! Save your breath. We have the cargo. Let's get this over with. What is it? You'll regret this, Bane! Forget him. We have a job to do. This key is yours, no? Open the box. Be quick. Let's see what's inside here. Oh my gosh. What did I want with his body? It is sad to see a legend so, but there is no other way. At least now, we finally have everything we need. Riddler will open the path to us. Once the thief brings the last piece. I'll open any path. Wait, what? For the right price. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> uh, that's not gonna go well for me. <laughs> Do that. But if he shows Waller, I wanted to call Gordon, but I messed up so badly I accidentally called Waller instead. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode.